Good Wednesday morning, everybody, from the home office of the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me on this last day of summer. We have officially reached the end of the season. The first full day, the last full day of summer is today. The first full day of autumn won't be till Friday, but f autumn officially begins at about 9.20 tomorrow morning, Thursday. So we'll be seeing again some very warm conditions for the last day of summer, as very well appropriate should be, and also some very warm conditions into the course of the next few days. We'll take a look at the seven-day forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Taking a look at how much time we actually have left, believe it or not, we actually do have, again, just a little bit less time than what we have seen over the last several days. It's going to be coming up relatively soon to about one day, 30, one day, one hour, and 37 minutes. That's how much time we we have left until we cross over into the equinox. That's going to be again coming up tomorrow. So getting closer and closer as we get into the next couple of days out there. So far again, we're looking at some clear skies, some very nice views of the moon this morning rising on up right before sunrise. Moon phase at 71%. That's waning gibbous heading back toward the last quarter. And as of right now, we're also looking at a little bit less sunlight than what we've seen for a while, 12 hours and just a few minutes, as opposed to what we saw over the course of the last several days and weeks, getting less and less sunshine as we go toward the equinox and as we end the summertime out there. Mississippi River on its way upwards, but then cresting into around the area of the weekend and dropping back on down, nowhere near flood stage at this time, so things very much on the quiet side there. Hazardous weather, not much to talk about at this point. Things are very quiet, if not relatively hot, across much of the Mid-South area for this morning and into the rest of the day today. Beautiful sunrise out there. The Cotton Exchange camera showing some very nice views of some pastel colors of sunlight reflected in some of those high, thin clouds drifting on through parts of the Mid-South area. Likewise, Baptist DeSoto Cam from the South Haven area looking down toward I-55 and Goodman Road. Little, if any, problems being seen uh, at this point. Glorious sunrise being seen on the Memphis International uh, area camera from Memphis Airport and showing again decently quiet conditions across uh, much of the area. School getting going at the Power Center Academy. A few clouds drifting overhead for this morning. A few golfers out and about at Windy Country Club in Memphis so far with again some of those clouds and jet contrails flying on over. And numbers again very much on the quiet side for Germantown City Hall. Very mild across much of the Mid-South. Like to see all these cameras go to wreg.com slash web webcams, and you can see a little bit more about what's going on across parts of the Mid-South through our weather bug network cameras out there. And some beautiful start to the day today. It should be a glorious last day of summer, so hopefully you get a chance to get out there and enjoy some of that sunshine before we cross over into the area of autumn tomorrow. Weather underground camera from Rhodes College in Memphis. Again, some of those jet contrails and high thin clouds drifting on through as a little bit more moisture makes its way just over the Mid-South area. Things are quiet across the continental United States. We don't have much in the way of major problems. A little bit of of some flash flooding taking place up into parts of the upper Mississippi Valley around Minnesota, Iowa, and Wisconsin this morning, and some fire danger out into around portions of California, Nevada, and into around the area of close to Arizona, so some pretty dry conditions into around that area out there. We do have a cold front sitting back to our north, not doing too much at this point in time, but will be giving us hopefully some relief into the course of the rest of the weekend, but really not that much going on into the Mid-South for the next few days. Things are not going to be changing that much anytime soon. Your seven-day forecast from the News Channel 3 Weather Center showing temperatures, again, not doing too bad for this time of the year. A little bit above normal, but nowhere near cool either. Would be nice if we could kind of get rid of some of that heat out there. Now, toward next Tuesday, it looks like temperatures will be dropping back into the mid-80s. Beyond that, if the numbers hold, we might see some much cooler weather heading through after this forecast. We'll have to watch and see how well that goes, but as of right now, that's going to be the hottest temperatures that we see across the area especially as we had from summer and on into the autumn season coming up within the course of the next few days. Don't forget to check out the National Weather Service in Memphis for details on spotter training. It's a great opportunity for you to learn more about what's going on into and around the area in regards to what's happening with training sessions for the local area. If you'd like to learn more about what to do when severe weather hits, what to do before it hits, 
And you can sign up for the training schedule. The next meeting will be tomorrow night in Houston, Mississippi. And if you'd like to know more about the other ones out there, drop by the National Weather Service, weather.gov, click on the Mid-South, and then go over to the left-hand menu, scroll down, and you'll be able to see a little bit more about what's going on with the Skywarn training sessions out there. Back out into the tropics, little if anything going on for right now. We do have, again, a couple of systems out across parts of the area. It looks like Carl has been degraded into a tropical depression this morning. Really not much left out of that. And Lisa is a tropical storm just off the African coastline area. And maybe another wave of energy coming off of Africa within the course of the next couple of days, but nothing major at this point to be determined. That could become tropical storm Matthew if it decides to get a little bit stronger. But other than that, things are decently quiet for the tropics, things not threatening the continental United States at this point, but we will be watching that, of course, as we go throughout the rest of hurricane season. So keep it tuned for more on that with News Channel 3. Questions, concerns, ideas, comments, anything like that, complaints, if you absolutely have to, please let me know about it. The email address right here at the bottom of your screen, austin.onic at wreg.com. And of course, we'll keep you updated on the weather throughout the rest of the week. Go Jim Go continues. Stop by WRIG.com slash weather for more on that. Tim Simpson has your forecast. And, of course, Jim, even with his injury, is out doing as much as he can to help out the kids at Labonner. So make certain you drop off a donation where you can. Please help out if you can for things like that. And, of course, we'll have your forecast in throughout the rest of the week on News Channel 3. Hope you have a great morning out there and a safe one as well. I'll have more on your forecast coming up tonight on another edition of Weather Overtime. And details will follow at WRIG.com slash weather. From from the home office of the News Channel 3 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for Wednesday morning's edition of Weather Overtime.